All right, guys. This is Halfcab123 from Bitcoin Talk, and I'm going to show you today how to export your private key or import rather into Counter Wallet, uh, so you can sweep your assets into your Counter Wallet uh, addresses. And so, first thing you want to do is log into your blockchain.info account, and we are going to go to Import Export. Click I understand and it's, it should ask you for password I've already put mine in so I should be okay um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to export unencrypted and I typically put it on Bitcoin QT format from the private key format drop down here and uh, I only have one address right now this is this is just a, a test wallet this is not my main wallet I made this just for the video uh, but originally uh, I had burned Bitcoin from more than one address so if you have more than one address listed here um, then you need to do a sweep from each uh, address uh, now the thing you need to keep in mind is um, that sweep uh, or that import rather if you prefer thinking of it that way uh, requires that there's at least just to be safe I'd put one millibit at each address that you have burned Bitcoin uh, for XCP so any address that you have on blockchain.info that you uh, have XCP associated with you want to make sure you have at least uh, I would just 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 to be safe one millibit which is one thousandth of a Bitcoin so 0 0.001 Bitcoin uh, you should only need 0 0.0005 but I just put one just to be safe um, so yeah so you should see multiple addresses here if you do have multiples but if you only have one like I do uh, if you've only burned one Bitcoin or only have one XCP address on your blockchain info uh, or one Bitcoin address that has XCP, then you'll see one. If you have three, you'll see three. Uh, but the point is, you'll need to do the, and this is the private key here, but you'll need to do it for each one. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, in the case that you aren't sure how much XCP you have, or if you have any at all, maybe you have some addresses that have XCP or some that don't, what you want to do is copy the address, uh, just the address portion, and we're going to go to blockscan.com and what you do is you paste your address in the top right and hit enter um, and if you have XCP on that address uh, and it's confirmed you know this is assuming you've burned XC or burned Bitcoin for XCP in which case you know the confirmation was months ago um, so yeah I just have one XCP on this address just for demonstration purposes um, so what I'm gonna do and, and and once again, remember that each address you do, each private key you do this for, make sure you have some Bitcoin on there. I have 0.001, or else it'll throw an error. So um, go ahead and copy your private address. Uh, you can double click, make sure it's Bitcoin QT format, and you see I have. If you double click, it puts it right in between the quotes, so you don't actually grab the quotes with it. And just go ahead and copy that, and go to your counter wallet, and up at the top right, you'll see import funds you go ahead and paste your private key in there and then you can you know pick which address that you would like to uh, import that into so you're not actually uh, importing the uh, uh, the key itself into your wallet you're actually sweeping uh, assets from that from that uh, address or that key associated with that key into your into the addresses associated with your wallet so okay um, and that's that's another good point to bring up. Make sure that you don't forget your mnemonic phrase that is your your twelve your twelve uh, your twelve word uh, or your twelve part phrase that unlocks your wallet. Because if you do forget that, uh, you know there's no way to back up private keys or anything from this as of yet. I don't know if that's in the works or not, but um, it's really not necessary um, if you have that that twelve. 12 word phrase so make sure you save that in several different places so you don't lose it and you know as I'm talking about the the login phrase that unlocks your wallet so uh, in this case the only thing I care about um, sweeping is the is the XCP balance of one so um, in your case you might see a thousand uh, you might see 1500 something like that depending on when you burned uh, your Bitcoin per address or you may see more if you've had people send uh, XCP to you or you've sent it to yourself or, or, or whatever I assume that this tutorial will only be watched by people that have burned their Bitcoin uh, for XCP because uh, most likely 
you probably already know how to do this if you've done things beyond that which are more advanced so um, so as you see here I have my uh, private key pasted and I'm going to put it into address one and I have like I said on my blockchain wallet I have uh, one um, or one millibit at that address. Now, if you have multiple addresses, you know, just multiply one millibit times each address. So, if you have, let's say, you, uh, you know, you were a diehard and you, you, uh, you burned Bitcoin from ten different addresses, and you've confirmed you have ten, uh, you know, ten addresses with XCP, then you're going to want to make sure that you have at least 0 0.01. So you, uh, you know, about five dollars worth of Bitcoin at the time of of the filming of of this video. Um, so, yeah, so just make sure that's there, and so I'm going to go ahead and hit sweep, and it's going to sweep the address, it'll say it's complete, it'll tell you how much, uh, in, in, in some instances, if you have several different assets associated with your address, it'll have a list here of all those assets that have been sweeped, but, uh, you know, I assume this is for beginners, so you only have XCP. Um, and of course, you have to wait. Um, a blo block confirmation can take anywhere from 10 minutes. It could take five. It could take one. It could take 20. I've seen. I think I've seen a block take as as much as 30 or more minutes. Um, yeah, down here it says tw two to 40 minutes. So um, yeah. So until that time, it, it won't reflect the change. You just hit OK. But you'll see this little uh, cloud with an arrow, and that will let you know that a balance change is pending um, so that that kind of gives you a little marker to see uh, you'll also get a notification um, when that has gone through and of course you'll see it here um, and yeah so that's that and then once you've done that then you can start using uh, you can you can sell your XCP you can send it you can start uh, creating your own you know issuing your own assets and I'll make some more videos to detail that uh, based on the feedback I get from this one um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and, um, you know, look forward to, uh, our commercial coming out for Counterparty XCP, uh, should be out uh, within a week. We had a lot of setbacks, uh, studio time wise and, and equipment wise, but, uh, that, that's still in the works. So, all right guys, thanks a bunch.